It has been a while since I've done one of these speculative style Ashes of Creation videos. I think the last one I did was for the Castle Rest strategy, which I will have a link to. This one is much simpler than that one, but will include some of the same elements involved with the Castle Rest strategy. Now castles I think will be highly contested as they provide massive benefits to the owning guild, but mansions are different. We don't know the exact benefits that they will confer upon the owners, but the limited supply of them will, I think, make them highly sought after. Now some of you might be wondering what I mean by mansion. In this case, I am talking about the end node mansions that are only available in Metropolis nodes. It is possible to build a mansion on a freehold as well, but that is not what I'm talking about here. Intrepid has not gone in depth on what exact benefits might be for player housing, but all housing does provide citizenship to the local node. Players also get the ability to place decor items, which in a mansion you would naturally have much more space for. Also, storage containers can be placed in housing which are said to have restrictions in terms of the grades of storage based on the type of housing. One might assume that mansions might be able to use the highest grade storage containers and therefore have a lot more storage, but this is pure speculation. Crafting benches can be built in houses, and again, one might speculate that more and higher tier crafting benches might be possible in mansions. Small gatherable areas such as gardening plots or even processing areas might be available as well, and one could assume that with a mansion these areas Areas might be larger. Proximity based bonuses are available with housing and one could speculate that maybe the radius and quality of these bonuses might increase for mansions. And even if there are not massive gameplay benefits to owning these in known mansions, there will certainly be prestige in owning them. And if a player is able to secure one of the eight houses that appear at the village stage and eventually become mansions at the metropolis stage, they could eventually flip that house for a massive profit as these in node houses are traded by the players. So with the eight houses at the village stage being the only ones that can become mansions and with there being a maximum of five metropolis nodes and therefore meaning there is a maximum of 40 in known mansions on a server, supply and demand could naturally make these highly valued and therefore highly sought after. So that's why I think a mansion rush meta could eventually form. With this there really are two key components, leveling a node to the village stage as quickly as possible to ensure that the node vastly the surrounding nodes, thereby giving the node the ability to become a Metropolis node. And the second component is acquiring the gold needed to purchase the house as soon as the node hits the village stage. Quickly leveling a node is probably going to be fairly simple. Just get a bunch of people in one node's zone of influence and get them doing quests, gathering, and other activities in that zone to level it. There will probably be some nuance that comes into play. Maybe there is a quest chain for a specific node that allows very rapid growth of that node or some other metas might form and players will also want to defend their node against any sieges that might happen in order to eventually allow this node to become a metropolis node. As for the gold generation part I have speculated before that mastering the hunting certificate system could be a way to earn gold quickly especially early on in the server. Be sure to check out my video series linked in the description and the card above to see my full breakdown of that. So really the strategy will will be fairly simple and just a standard race to get the gold needed to be one of the first eight buying an in node housing location. I think guilds once again might have a big advantage here as maximizing the hunting certificate system might be much better done with a guild and with utilizing the caravan system. And that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video.